How do I introduce young Cathbad? Well, I suppose one way to understand him is to understand the place he grew up in. And it was a place made of water and of rock and of tree and of rain. <laughs> but of sun as well and good grass for grazing cattle on. He was always close to the water and he grew up in boats almost as much as he grew up on land. Whether it was the wooden boats, uh, clinker built from the keel up, or skin boats, curras, that you could use if you rafted them together especially, to get over to Ireland. But boats, a lot of boats. There was also the rivers that came down through the glen. Uh, they brought uh, snow water from, melt water from the hills in spring, they were good for drinking from, and <laughs> yeah, well, he would often go swimming in the pools as well, and sometimes catch fish from them. The forest gave wood for the fire, wood for building houses, wood for carving spoons, wood for making into charcoal, which could then be used for smithing. Also, it had plenty of food, and nuts and berries. Yeah. The wood was important as well, maybe almost as important as the water and the sea. The country he lived in was of many broken glens. Well, when I say glens, other people would call them straths. There were many glens. And every glen seemed to have a different group of people in it. Sometimes they even had different languages. It was almost as if all the people there were like logs washed up on the shore and some of the logs had stuck in the ground and sprouted and grown uh, leaves and branches and some of them were good logs, so well good trees and it produced fruit and things that were helpful and some of them they more just stuck in the ground like dead sticks and well they didn't last long, maybe a lifetime or so but what else is there about the landscape? It was always changing. Changing with the season, so going from winter to spring to summer to autumn and back to winter again. Always changing, always going around, but still the same cycle. So you knew that in the winter you were going to spend a lot of time indoors because it was well cold and wet and wild outdoors. In the summer you were going to spend as much time as you could outdoors, but it was sometimes a bit hungry because well, all the food was doing the business of growing, so there was time to lie down and to uh, relax in the sun and do some growing yourself. And Cathbat did a lot of growing. The houses they lived in were made from the things that they found locally. So some of Cathbad's friends had stone houses and some of them had wooden houses, uh, wattle houses woven with hazel and covered in mud uh, and then lime washed and painted. Well, lime wash is paint, I suppose. It's white paint. But then if you mix in some earth, then you get colours as well. And that's really good. The landscape had been marked by the presence of many people. And all along throughout the landscape were high crosses. Great stones that had been carved with stories or pictures of stories. So that when Cathbad looked at them, he could remember the tales that had been told. Some of the stories had Latin letters on them, so he learned his letters. And some of them had Latin letters and runes carved by the Norse, or the Angles. To some eyes, the landscape would look empty. There were few big settlements. There was Whithorn in the far west. But mostly, the houses came in clusters. More stories about young Cathbad can be heard echoing.